Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we are thankful to the one true and living God for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for being the one and true creator of heaven and earth. There is none equal to him. There is none better than him. He is God alone. I'm glad we have that knowledge. Amen. We associate none equal to the God of heaven and earth. He have no partners. When he made heaven and earth, nobody helped him. That's right. I know many of you are so blind, you read in the Bible, let us make man. Amen. In our image, after our likeness. And right then, you think that man must be such a complex creation <laughs> that God needed help in making him. Amen. But if you read Genesis 1:27, it told you how many made him. That's right. It says, so God made man in his own image. That's right. In the image of God created he him. him. God made one man in the beginning because man was made in the image of God. So if it was more than one God, it would be several men. Amen. Amen. Made in the beginning to reflect all three. Yeah. But he made one man. You know, if you stand in the mirror yep. and it's just you there. Yeah. That's one. You don't need to look for a bunch of other fellas standing there. <laughs> because that mirror reflect what? Your one. image. That's right. So when God made man in his image, how much plainer can we make it? One man was made there in the garden mm -hmm. to reflect the oneness of God. Amen. So viewers, I can never thank God enough for interrupting our lives. Oh, yeah. Sometimes the interruption didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes because of our lack of understanding, we didn't think the interruption was good. Mm -hmm. But when time began to take its course, we found out that the interruption of God was the mercy of God Amen. extended to you and I for our safety. Amen. And because of such interruption in our affairs, we all here today. Amen. We greet all of our brothers and sisters and television viewers that are watching and listening around the world. We are forever grateful for you taking the time out. <coughs> To watch this program that you may learn mm -hmm. God's way. That's it. That's all the truth of God is designed for. That's it. To teach you God's way. Mm -hmm. Not Geno Jennings way. No. I have to submit myself to God's way. Mm -hmm. Unless I be a castaway. Yeah. I don't want to be rejected by God. Yeah. I don't mind being rejected by people because that don't mean nothing to me. No. But to be rejected by God, yeah. you can love me. But if God reject me, your love for me don't help me. Amen. You can hate me. Yeah. But if God love me, yeah. your hate towards me, that don't mean nothing to me. Amen. So to all of our viewers, it's time for you to get yourself ready to the Thousands of writers that have wrote letters, whether by email, handwritten letters, we are grateful. To our brothers and sisters in the prison institutions in America and out, we have not forgotten about you. We are glad for you that are able to watch this program in your place of incarceration, that you may be set free while you're there. Oh, yeah. You know, true imprisonment is when your mind is in darkness. Yeah. True freedom. It's when your understanding come open mm -hmm. and your understanding have been enlightened mm -hmm. on who God is and God will and God's 
purpose. We had a very, very good meeting last night. <clears throat> very good meeting last night on the standard of God and the will of God and the purpose of God, showing you and I how Satan have infiltrated church, right. Satan have infiltrated religion to turn God people another direction. Right. Truth of God, brothers and sisters, friends, and to my loyal watching enemies. The truth of God is designed to put us back on the straight path. And you know, sometimes to put someone back in line, it brings pain to do it. Am I right, I say? When I was a young fella coming up, I came under a very well-rounded household. We had fun. I mean, we were very, I come from a very comical family, if I would use such a word. My father, he would cut up and act up sometime. My mother, she would cut up and act up sometime. I mean, with a sense of humor. But we also knew when they meant business. So when we got out of line, my father knew what it take to get us back in line. And my mother knew what it take to get us back in line. And sometimes to get you back in line, you have to associate that with pain. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Because when you're a child, you are in what is called the animalistic stage. Mm -hmm. This is why the language of the scriptures use a term that's applied to animals. Mm -hmm. It says train of a child. Right. You see, on most time when we look at the word train, we apply it to beasts, mm -hmm. to animals. Mm -hmm. The objective of training an animal so it would obey its master. Mm -hmm. The objective of training children is so they would obey their father and mother. Mm -hmm. The objective of or the purpose of training the human family is so we may obey God. That's it. Now, some of you are untamed. So God have a leash, oh, yes. a collar, Amen. glory to God. Amen. And this is the collar right here. Yeah. Now the human family, you're filled with so much devil. Amen. It's on you like ticks. That's right. Fleas. Yes, Are you listening? Amen. And you need something to repel yeah. mm -hmm. that devil that's in you and on you. Mm -hmm. And there is no collar, no leash mm -hmm. that's stronger than God's word. Mm -hmm. No, the purpose of a leash is when you it set boundaries. Oh, yeah. When you go beyond the boundary, then you'll find the cord getting tighter. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that animal still try to be contrary. Right. So the master have to snatch it. Master is snatching and let you know I'm boss. That's right. I'm in control. Yes, you better come on back. And when that dog keep trying to be forceful, the master will apply more force and then take that leash and hit him. <laughs> then the dog can associate who's boss. That's right. Now, brothers and sisters, God is your boss. You can be as foolish and wild and animalistic as you may try to be, but the Lord have a way of not to try to get your attention. That's an insult. That's an insult. To say God is trying. God don't try to do anything when it comes to you. Amen. God just do it. Yeah. And I must say when he do it, he does it well. Amen. Now, again, we are grateful because there are hundreds that's meeting in houses and homes and all type of places coming together, watching the truth of God telecast. There is a big American exodus there's an exodus out of the churches of America and abroad. People are making their exodus out of church. Right. And I'm not exaggerating. Amen. I'm getting hundreds of letters from around America and abroad that people have left church. 
They are obedient to what we're telling them. And this is causing a lot of preachers to be upset and calling preachers to threaten their former followers because they're coming out of the churches and coming together at homes, watching the truth of God telecast on internet and on television because without question, without controversy, it is the greatest religious program in the world. <laughs> Some may say that I'm trying to build it up. No, what we're preaching don't need to be built up. It is already built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. And Jesus Christ himself is the chief cornerstone in whom all the builders fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord. So the truth of God don't need no propping up. No. You can go to YouTube and you may type in truth of God or first church and you will find where false prophets, big and small, have infiltrated the truth of God messages and put their church there. So you can think they're the truth of God. But you will notice that they're not in a matter of a few seconds. That's right. They don't take long. Because they don't take long to recognize the devil. No. But they swing on the coattail of the truth of God. But rest assured you, God is not in that wind. And God is not wearing that coat. No. But it shows you how desperate the devil is for recognition. So the devil is doing what he always done. He infiltrated heaven and got thrown out. He was among the apostles. And Jesus taught us, he said, one of you is the devil. He was among the church when it got started in the scriptures. And he is among God people as we speak. The devil... Don't want this message over the air, viewers. Many of you don't know how bad. I got a letter from a uh, viewer who wrote a very beautiful letter encouraging me. He said in the letter how the devils across the world have tried to silence you. He said they want to kill you. He said, but God is with you. He said, I encourage you, brother, keep standing. He said, you may want to consider not flying too much because they may try to blow up a plane because you want it. He said, they want to shoot you. He said, your viewers may not realize the impact that God has purpose for you to have, not just on America, but the world. He said, I meet people by the number who don't even know I'm a viewer. And all of a sudden, your name is coming up in political discussion. Your name is coming up in civil rights discussions. Your name is coming up in board meetings. Your name is coming up in law firms. Why? Why is it? There is not an organization in the world that heaven have not addressed. If you're a lawyer, God talked to you. In fact, God warned you. That's right. He said, Whoa! Unto you, lawyer. That's what makes the truth of God so different. There is not a subject or a topic that we are afraid to deal with. For me to be a righteous representative of God, I have to deal with what he deal with. So I want to keep encouraging my viewers, keep leaving your churches. Yes, you do want to do that. In fact, you may want to speed up the pace because some of you are a little bit too lazy. Keep leaving your churches. Let me know how many are you are gathering in the different parts of the country. And let me know who you are, who your pastor is, who your pastor was. Come out of your churches regardless of who they are. 
Don't get caught up in the organization. I can never encourage you enough. The organization is not more important than God. Let us understand something very clearly. God is not coming back for nobody's organization. Did you hear what I said? Doesn't matter how big it is, how many followers you have. The great I am. Yes. Mm -hmm. the Lord God of heaven and earth Amen. is not coming back for no one's organization. Amen. But he's certainly coming for the same thing that he left here. Amen. Now we have some letters. That's some very good letters. Some as far as Sweden. Watching the program. Amen. So we're going to try to get. I want to get all these letters. It's thousands of them, but. You know, we have a few we want to get, and we want to try to answer some questions, and then, God willing, what time we left, we'll straighten you out and straighten you up. Amen. All right, damn the man, come on. Uh, this letter comes from Ethiopia in Africa. It says, hello, Pastor Jennings, please, please can you try to have a temple here in Ethiopia because we need the truth. Nobody is preaching the truth. Ethiopia in Africa. Now... I can't begin to tell you the amount of letters I received just for that request. Mm. And that's from Ethiopia, mm. which is uh, the eastern part of Africa, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Now, brothers and sisters, if I was a false prophet like Krefler O'Dala, <laughs> here's this man can get on television and ask for $65 million just to buy him a luxury jet. Yeah. And undoubtedly, he may get it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we need, the truth of God needs, millions of dollars. Millions. And what would you do with it, Pastor Jennings? We would open up temples all around the world. Oh, yeah. We would set up businesses so people in the temples could be employed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, we would. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't take it and buy me a yacht. No. 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 I wouldn't take it and buy me a jet. No. no. If there was a millionaire, someone asked me one day, if a millionaire actually called you and wanted to give you a private jet, will you accept it? I told him, no, I would not accept it. In, in fact, I would suggest to him, give me the money instead so I can continue to build temples and I use regular commercial airlines. Right. Yeah. You know, because with a gospel like this, you got to watch who's flying you around. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. You know, because well, you may find yourself descending. That's right. <laughs> Before time, <laughs> you know, so I have to be very careful about things like that, you know. So, yes, uh, yes, we do. The truth of God need millions of dollars because the, the truth of God is in demand. We would like to be on television seven days a week, Amen. several times a day. Yeah. That's not asking for too much, is it, folks? <clears throat> Look at these false prophets. They're on television so many times in one day. And what are they telling you and I? Nothing. The truth of God need to be on seven days a week, so many times a day, and need to be on on demand. That's right. That way you fall asleep, you wake up in the middle of the light, in the middle of the night, you can put it right back on. We need our own satellite. Thank God so it can be aired as often as we want it to be aired, 24 hours a day. That's what the truth of God needs. So yes, I pray God that one day the Lord bless us to open up a temple, not just in Ethiopia, not one temple in Ethiopia, but throughout Ethiopia and throughout the world. All right, come on, Dad. All right, this letter comes from Watkinsville, Georgia. Uh, it says, Apostle Gino Jennings, please be advised. I listen to your telecast every Sunday evening at 11 p.m. I cannot wait until it comes on. Please send all information possible you have the correct facts. My address is, and he gives his address. This is from uh, Shady Grove Baptist Church, mm. Reverend Willie Bodrick. Wonderful. Watkinsville, Georgia. Shady Grove. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. 
Baptist pastor wrote us. Wonderful. Said he's watching the program. Mm. He agree with the stuff. Mm. Let me say to Shady <laughs> Grove. Thank you for watching. This is what I want to encourage you to do, brother minister. Repent of your sins. Mm. Let's get ready to obtain the right baptism. In the name of Jesus Christ, that's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. And then come aboard the Truth of God train. Yes, sir. All aboard. All aboard. Glory to God. The Truth of God train. And I'm telling you, the train is picking up passengers all over. I want to say this why it comes to mind, and in case many of my viewers didn't know. And the earlier part of this year, in the month of February, we held our first National Hispanic Convocation, and it was held in Jacksonville, Florida, and it was jam-packed, and it was a beautiful meeting, God knows. Not only are souls leaving the churches, but even preachers, pastors. Yeah are leaving their organization and bringing their entire congregations with us. Uh, we have a bishop out of Nassau, Bahamas. He was the bishop and the overseer of the Bahama Islands. And he tuned in. He was in the UPC. And United Pentecostal fellas, you're watching, and I know you are. You may not admit it, but you are. Because I get so many letters from you mm -hmm. fighting for your second wives <laughs> so this brother in the Bahamas did not believe in remarriage and divorce and did not believe in women preachers and believed that women should have their head covered but didn't know that there was someone standing for it mm -hmm. until some of his followers told him about the truth of God he said he could not believe that someone was standing in America or even on the earth these was his words preaching this type of message. Amen. He contacted the bishops and the head bishops of the UPC and sent in his letter of resignation. Mm -hmm. And now he brought <clears throat> all four churches. He came here to Philadelphia and spent three days with me. We had business meetings for three days discussing Bible mm -hmm. and discussing doctrine. And then in turn, I flew to Nassau, Bahamas with him. I went there to see him on business, not on vacation, on business. The day I land, the moment we hit the ground, we had our first business meeting for about three or four hours. After that, we got back on the plane, went to another part of Bahamas, spent the night there. The next morning, we got back on the plane, came back to Nassau, Bahamas, where we had some television viewers watching us, and we let him baptize him in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So after several meetings, after several meetings, and he took me to see the work that he's doing, he said, I know of the truth that it was God himself that connected me to you. He said, what hurts my heart, I waste over, I believe if I'm not mistaken, 28 years in the UPC, in the United Pentecostal. He said, I wasted those years. He said, if I would die right now, I don't have a minister among me to take over this work. He said, but since God has blessed me to meet you, he said, I know the gospel will be preached and the people would be saved. Isn't that a blessing? So we have four new branch temples in the Bahama Islands. I want to say to all of my viewers that watch the program on internet from the Bahamas, you email me quickly so we can give you the address. Those that watch us in the Bahamas, we already are sending them there. They're going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, and he's so happy he don't know what to do with himself. He said he have never seen nothing like this in his life Amen. to happen. He, he said, brother, I have to hurry up and get back because I want to hear some more good old-fashioned preaching. <laughs> and if you got the right spirit, uh, you want the old pathway. That's right, sir. All right, Dan. Come on, brother. All right. This letter comes from the United Kingdom. It says, peace be to you, Pastor Jennings. Yes. I have a question. All right. 
Can you look at that video, please, of me being baptized? I presume you sent the video to us. Please tell me if the baptism was okay or if it was wrong. If it was wrong, tell me in what way. Please, I will be desperately looking forward to your email or phone call. And he gives his phone number in the, in the United Kingdom. I discovered you on YouTube after typing in Holy Ghost and your sermon Acts 19 and 2 appeared. And ever since, I've been listening and learning. I'm going to a Pentecostal church, but after listening to the telecast 998 and 999, you ask, where is your religion in the Bible? It changed my view about churches. So I was baptized in the Pentecostal church, but help me to know if it was the right baptism or the wrong one. And uh, he says, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you very much. This is from the United Kingdom. <clears throat> All right, uh, to my viewer, let me just say this. I'm pretty sure undoubtedly I, I got your DVD. But people send me DVDs all the time. Not only that, we have so many authors in America, religious authors, they send me books <laughs> with a personal letter attached asking me to read it and what do I think about it and want me to approve or disapprove. Yeah. Brother, if I got your DVD, and undoubtedly I have it, I didn't get a chance to see it, but I can tell you this. The preacher must take you down in water and call the name of Jesus Christ or the name Lord Jesus. Amen. Not just Jesus. He can't, he can't baptize you simply in Jesus' name. No. Neither can he baptize you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Neither can a woman baptize you at all. Amen. Now, I have received many letters where people said I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ by a woman. Is the baptism right? The name is right, but the performance is wrong. That's right. Where is it in the Bible where God only allow a man to baptize? Jesus came to John and made a plain. He said, thus it become us, you and I, to fulfill all righteousness. And righteousness means those things that are right. You don't have a woman in the Bible that ever baptized anyone. So if you've been baptized by a female, that's wrong. The man that's baptizing you must have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Jesus made that clear. He wanted to be so right until he wanted the act of baptism to be so right. He let John be filled with it while John was in the womb. That's right. Yeah. That's right. He wanted to make sure there was no mistakes. That's right. He wanted to make sure there was no blunders. So it take God, John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Ghost and the child leaped in the body of the woman. Amen. So yes, the preacher must say, Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus. Now, viewer, if you don't know, I mean, you want me to know for you. The Bible says save yourself. That's right. You have to know. Have and if to you're know. uncertain, I strongly advise you, you climb aboard the truth of God train. Get aboard. And then uh, we'll make sure you're baptized. In the name of Jesus Christ, you contact us and we'll put you in contact with our brothers in England and make sure you get there. A date will be set up to take you down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, Dan DeMann, come on. All right, this letter comes from Sweden. <clears throat> it says, uh, I am seeking answers, this person says. Dear Pastor Jennings, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am writing you from Sweden in which I stumbled on your program about three years ago and followed it ever since. Wonderful. As for me, I truly believe in the word. I take the words of God serious and I believe, it all, and I believe in all the Bible. Now, I have a few questions to ask you based on what some people are saying or should, should, should so-called Christians say here in Sweden. First, why should a woman cover her head when she prays or do anything concerning God? All right, let me answer that. The reason why a woman should cover her head because the word of God says so. That's right. In the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, that lets you know lies is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Anytime as we're on the other side of the world in Sweden, this is a Swedish brother writing me, mm -hmm. rest assured you the devil is busy in Sweden also. That's right. All right, let's straighten out the Swedish viewer. Let's get this. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 5. Follow me. But every woman. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at the 5th verse. And I, want, I don't want to wait until this aired. I want to make sure that my uh, broadcast staff, when this is done and is all the broadcast is over, uh, wrap it up. We'll give you the address and I want you to send this to Sweden so he can make, he make his Swedish exodus. Yeah. 
out of the church that he's in. And I also want to put several more DVDs so others can be encouraged to come out. And then the truth of God will come and invade Sweden. That's right. Mm -hmm. And put Sweden on the right track, which is the, the godly track. That's right. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And begin at verse 5. What is it? But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. Was now, that? the reason why God want a woman to pray or prophesy or worship him with her head covered, covered, because if she have it uncovered, the Bible says she does what? Dishonoreth her head. Why? For that is even all as if she was shaven. See, when you don't have your head covered, it is equal to you having your head shaven. Shaven. Now, the head of every woman, according to the word of God, is the man. Is the man. Mm -hmm. And of course, the head of man Christ. is Christ. Mm -hmm. And the head of Christ, or the head of the Son of God, or the head of that flesh, God. was the Spirit, God, the everlasting father. Right. Now, when the woman have her head covered, mm -hmm. she's showing respect. That's right. Towards the man. Mm -hmm. And having her head covered is a symbol of power. That's right. That she places on her head, mm -hmm. showing reverence to heaven mm -hmm. and showing reverence to earth. First Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 10. 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians in verse 10. For this cause. For this reason. Ought the woman to have power on her head. She ought to have power on her head. Because. Because of, of what? Of the angels. You see when she cover her head. Mm -hmm. It shows respect to the angels. Mm -hmm. Because the angels bear the shape of men. That's right. And when she cover. Now this is not having your head covered. Covered. No. Sir. no. I want this to be good to you folk that think you're too cute to cover your head. Yeah. This is not having your head covered. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this. <laughs> Amen. You sisters, your head ain't covered. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. So when you have your head covered, you show honor mm -hmm. and humility to God. Mm -hmm. Because God said the head of every woman is the man. Now I know many of you preachers, that's in the UPC and PAW and other fictional organizations. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Amen. Where you tell the woman, you quote the scripture, her hair is a covering. Yeah. Let's explain that and let's read that because we're not going to dodge that. First Corinthians 11 and at verse 15. All right. But if a woman have long hair. If a woman have long hair. It is a glory to her. It is a glory to her. For her hair is given her for a covering. It's giving her for a covering. Mm -hmm. Now, covering and cover. Covered. It's different. That's right. If a woman or a child is born with hair, they're born with a covering. But when you take that child outside, you cover the covering. That's right. <clears throat> what you do, you may put a little hat on it or a little bundle or a little scarf on it. What you do, you're, you covered, covered the covering. That's right. Covering means that which is incomplete. That's right. So the, when you got long hair, yes, is a covering. Mm -hmm. But God wants you to cover, cover the covering. That's right. And when you don't cover mm -hmm. the covering... You left uncovered. uncovered. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. You see, my hair, what I got, <laughs> is a covering. Yeah. But if I if I do this, my covering mm -hmm. is covered. <laughs> you understand? That's right. It, it, it's covered. That's right. But if I mm -hmm. un take what covered my head, take it off, mm -hmm. now it's uncovered, mm -hmm. and I'm simply left with the covering. That's right. Amen. That's right. And it's a very short covering too, isn't it? <laughs> so that's why the God wants the woman to cover her head. Mm -hmm. It shows honor mm -hmm. and respect. Mm -hmm. 
And you have your head covered. Well, Pastor Dennis, does that mean outside of church? Yes, it means outside too. Why? The Bible said men ought to always pray and not to faint. And being at the Bible put emphasis on being instant in prayer. And when you worship God and you're praying before God, if a woman pray or prophesy, having her head uncovered, she dishonor her head. So the Bible said be instant in prayer. And man ought to always, 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 always pray. God tells us to be prayerful. That's right. Therefore, that means the woman should have her head covered when she's out there in public also, when she's at the job, when she's in school, have your head covered. Don't yeah. care how they look at you. That's right. As I often say, you say what you want about Muslim women. Yeah. Glory take God, but they are covered. Amen. Yeah. And they respect their teachings enough to cover. That's right. But you get these so-called church-going Christians. Christians. See, if you wasn't so full of pride in the beautician parlor, getting your hair straightened and cut and dyed, you wouldn't mind covering your head. That's right. Judging you yourself. You wouldn't worry about your hair is too puffy. Yeah. Right. You wouldn't worry about your hair is too sexy. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. You are cover that stuff. Cover that. Right. Why? It is the order of God. God. Yeah? That's right. Yeah. Judging yourselves. If God ordered it, mm -hmm. glory to God, yes, then we got the preaching. Amen. That's right. So that's why a woman must cover her head. All right, next question. Question number two, when the Bible speaks about singing in the spirit. When the Bible speaks about what? Singing in the spirit. Is singing? There, singing. Yes, singing it, in the spirit. All is, right. is there such a thing? Or praying in the spirit. Must, be, must we pray in tongues for one, two, three hours and don't stop? Hmm. And, speak when the pastor, and speak when the pastor says speak in tongues. Hmm. People just start to do so at the end and no one can tell what the spirit is saying to the church. All right, let me say this. First and foremost, let me explain what singing in the spirit means. That's right. First singing in the spirit don't mean when someone just singing in tongues. No. Now, let me make this plain. There is no place in the word of almighty God Amen. where he ever moved on anybody, anybody to be singing in tongues. No, no. Nowhere. No. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe nothing but what's written. That's right. The scripture says, search the scriptures. He said, search it, didn't he? Search the scriptures. Yeah. Why? Why did the Lord suggest <clears throat> for us to search the scriptures? For in them you think you have eternal life. Yeah. And he also said, the error not knowing the scriptures, know the power of God. So anyone today that says God calls them to do anything today, yet I can't find a way he moved them to do it yesterday, right. I don't have no confidence on it. That's yeah. right. Every place in the Bible that talk about tongues, it never said you're going to sing it or no. God going to move on you to sing. No. He's going to move on you to speak. Mark chapter 16 and verse 17. Uh, the Bible says uh, in the Old Testament mm -hmm. that with the stammer lip and another tongue shall I speak unto my people. my people. And in the 16th chapter of Mark, the Lord said, these signs shall follow, follow them that believe. They shall speak with new tongues. Tongue. On the day of Pentecost, it was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongue. tongues. And the 14th chapter, if I'm correct, in the first Corinthians, the Bible said, if any man speak in an unknown tongue, he speaketh not unto man, but unto God, how be in the spirit, he speaketh speak mysteries. Not he sang mysteries, speak. he speak mysteries. That's right. Amen. That's right. Now, I know many of the churches you go to, you find folk that claim they're under the inspiration, under mm -hmm. the anointing. And someone getting up, Allah Messiah. That's right. <laughs> Here sana manna kula fale lo. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I can accept that if that's your native tongue. That's, that's right. right. Now, do you understand? That's Amen. right. So the only way you are saying in another tongue if that's your native language is you don't speak English. Right. If you speak French or German and, or any other uh, language outside of English, then you're going to sing in that native tongue. That's yes. right. But there's no in the Bible where the Spirit of God came upon someone who don't speak in that language right. and made them sing in tongues. That's right. right. No, no. no. Now let me explain singing in the Spirit, in the spirit. and praying in the Spirit. Let me explain that. In first and to understand that, mm -hmm. you got to understand what the meaning of Spirit is. That's right. See, a lot of us have a very narrow understanding of the word spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, William, let's go to work. First Corinthians chapter 14 and at verse 15. Listen. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the spirit. Now, 
Now, this has been misinterpreted or misquoted for years. Yeah. For years, preachers said, I was saying in the spirit. The word of God never said that. No. It said, I'm going to say what? I will pray with the spirit. I'm going to pray with it. With, with it. it. Mm -hmm. And what else I'm going to do? And I will pray with the understanding also. All right, first let's deal with prayer. Mm -hmm. If I pray with the spirit. With the spirit. With it. Spirit, not only is it the nature of God, mm -hmm. what of God say God is a spirit. Amen. Notice it says God is a spirit. A spirit. So if he is a spirit, that means he's a specific kind of spirit. That's right. So the question is, what kind of spirit, kind of spirit. is God? Mm -hmm. God is a holy spirit. Holy spirit. He's not an unholy spirit. No. No. If you're an unholy spirit, you're the devil. That's right. God is a spirit, a pure spirit, a righteous spirit, a holy spirit, a clean spirit, a powerful spirit. That's right. Amen. So if I pray with the spirit, with the spirit, another definition of spirit, mm -hmm. Jesus said, the words give that chapter I speak. Verse, John chapter six and at verse sixty-three. John sixteen sixty-three. John chapter six. John chapter six and verse sixty-three. John six. 63 says the words that I speak unto you the words that I speak unto you they are spirit they are spirit and they are life now when you pray with the spirit mm -hmm. your words because you're praying with the spirit with the spirit the spirit already spoke something that's right and your prayers got to be with it that's right they have to come along with, with it with amen. it amen that's right in other words, because the Lord have already spoken and got his word written for us, any word we say in prayer, any expression we make in our prayers, any requests that we make, anything we say, it must be according to the language of scripture. That's right. When you pray with the spirit, your requests or the words you use are in full agreement That's right. with the scripture. Mm -hmm. Let me make an example. Mm -hmm. If I'm praying, mm -hmm. Lord God, Holy Father, <laughs> please connect me with your Holy Son. That's right. Holy Son, yeah. the standing neck to the third person, Holy Ghost. Amen. All three of you, please help me. Oh, no, oh, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 uh -uh. no. You're not praying with, the spirit. With, the spirit. with the Spirit. With the Spirit. See, to work along with someone means to cooperate. That's right. So if I pray with the Spirit, my prayer, my language must cooperate with the language of the Scripture. That's right. Let's That's make right. another example. Mm -hmm. Here you married. Mm -hmm. That's right. Brother. Yeah. And you're praying that God will give you this other woman. Yeah. So now you're praying after God says you're bound by the law as long as you live. Yeah. Now you're asking God to lift that spiritual scripture yeah. and give you leverage. Amen. To live in adultery for the rest of your life. Of your life. When you pray to ask God to give you that man, mm -hmm. and you got a husband or give you that woman, and you got a wife, you're not praying with the, with spirit. the spirit. Your request yeah. does not agree right. with the language of the scripture. That's yeah. right. With the words of the spirit. That's right. Amen. That's right. So on that note, God ain't paying that no mind. No mind. So when you pray with the spirit, with the spirit. that means the request that you make, the words that you use when you bring your petition to God cannot contradict no. what's already written. Amen. Now what else did Paul say there, son? I will sing with the spirit. Sing with the spirit. And I will sing with the understanding also. Now, 
The songs I sang. Songs. Notice, I was sang with the spirit and sang with the understanding. That's right. I will pray with the spirit and I will pray with the understanding. Amen. So whatever I say, I got to understand what I'm saying and make sure it's right. And before I make sure it's right, I got to understand the scriptures. That's right. So if I sang with the spirit in order for me to make sure that my lyrics, my words yes. is correct, I got to make sure that I understand the scripture. Mm -hmm. That's right. Holy, 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 <laughs> Lord God Almighty, that part is good. That part's good. Fine so far. God in three person, blessed Trinity. Use a liar. That's a lie. They use a liar. That's right. It ain't no blessed Trinity. Use no. a liar. That's a lie. You're not singing with, with the Spirit. With the spirit. Your spirit. word is not according to Scripture. No. Nor are you singing with understanding. understanding. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. It, it just got to be with the Spirit, with the spirit. and with understanding. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You sang that song, Falling in Love oh. with Jesus. Amen. Jesus ain't never taught you to fall in love with him. No. You fall in love with a man. Yeah. You fall in love with a woman that you want to marry, that you lust after. That's right. Jesus just said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. That's it. You sang that song, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my father, not my mother, but it's me, oh Lord. Well, who is your father and who is your mother that they don't need prayer? Amen. The only time your parents don't need prayer, they're dead. Yeah. Otherwise than that, it is your father, it is your mother, and yeah. it's you, oh Lord. That's right. That's right. When many of you church to serve the Lord's Supper, you sing this song, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. You sang a lie. That's a lie. Why would you say feed me till I want no more when Jesus preached, he that hunger and thirst at the righteousness right. shall be filled. Yeah. You have to always want more. That's right. right. He told Ezekiel, eat how much? Oh. The whole row. You got to eat all of it. So yes, you can sing a lie. Quick as you can tell the one. Now on the note of the speaking in tongue, what did he say that the preacher tell him to do? Our praying in the spirit must be pray in tongues one, two, and three hours and don't stop. And it says, and speak when the pastor says speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. People just start to do so and at the end, no one can tell what the spirit says to the church. Read, read, read all of it. Uh, second question again. When the Bible speaks about singing in the spirit, is there such a thing? Or praying in the spirit must be pray in tongues for one and two and three no, hours. No, all it simply stop. mean that you pray according to the scripture and when you sing according to the scripture. Go ahead. And speak when the pastor says, let's speak in tongues. No. no. Anytime you got a tongue that's supposed to be the Holy Ghost, right. and your pastor can say, speak, and you do it. And you do it. That's not the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's the devil ghost. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Yeah. That's right. All of you that are watching that go to these churches, Amen. these clubs. Clubs. Hiding behind a cross and a steeple. Yeah. You're nothing but a club. Amen. Amen. Anytime you got a preacher that can get in the pulpit and say, I'm going to count to three. Yep. And you're going to speak. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And all you turkeys get up gobbling. That's right. <laughs> Amen. That's right, sir. Speaking trash. Yeah. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, it was as the Spirit give utterance. Give utterance. Yes. And when the Spirit utters something, mm -hmm. it don't need no prop or no help from nobody. No, yes. no. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. To the Word of God said, it's as rivers mm -hmm. of living, living, living water. water. It just flows. That's, That's right. right. Amen. So, so, my Swedish brother, if you're in a church where the preacher tells them when to speak, when the church don't have the Holy Ghost. No. Amen. No, they don't have the Holy Ghost at all. No. Not at all. So I advise you to do, get on the truth of God train from Sweden. Amen. Glory to God, Amen. get out of there. Amen. Get out of there, God knows. Amen. Because this stuff is done. Listen, the Holy Ghost is a gift. Yeah. And Brother James says every good gift, every perfect gift come from above. Mm -hmm. He didn't say your pastor, it comes from your pastor. No, no, no from it comes from above. from above. Then he says, it comes down. Amen. Amen. From the Father of lights, of whom there is no variable, no shadow of turning. Let me say to any of you that are here, Hallelujah. that's claiming you got some Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. and you came from a church 
where the preacher told you to speak and you start running off at the mouth, Amen. you ain't got nothing. 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 Amen. Nothing. Eh? Amen. Amen. You ain't got nothing. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. I can't make no one speak. No, no way. No. It's the gift of God. Gift of God. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Gift. It's a gift that I can't get. Wonderful. That's right. I got to wait for it. Amen. Jesus said, knock, Hallelujah. and it shall be open. Wonderful. Amen. Seek, Seek. and you shall find. That's right. I got to wait for it. Wait. That's what Terry means. That's right. Wait for it. That's right. I didn't receive it last night. Go back the next night. Wait, wait for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. While, hallelujah. Hallelujah. While I'm waiting. Hallelujah. Ain't, 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 ain't no need for no one to come and tell me, oh, I heard you speak. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Don't go telling me nothing. No. no. Now, let me say this while we're on that subject. Amen. This is what you churches do. Mm -hmm. Damon, turn the organ on real quick, son, and crank it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. Come on, son. I want to demonstrate this because I used to be in this type of folly. And I'm pretty sure hundreds of you here was in the same thing. Crank it up loud so I can, uh, so I can hear it. So I can hear it, you know, just crank it up. So give, give me a little beat on the drums, uh, Tokyo. Give me, give me a little beat on the drums. Now, this is the way you folk, just play along with that. This is the way you folk with Terry. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 no Jesus, no Jesus. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's right, sir. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Demonstration. Excellent. And then, while you're in prayer meeting, yep. Amen. somebody's in your ear. Yeah. Call them. Yeah. Call them. Surrender. Yeah! Oh no, no, what's all that for? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Let's go back to the Pentecost. That's what I said. Amen. You know, God is merciful. Yes, he is. Because many of us received the Holy Ghost in those mad you traditions. You know, all of that. That's right. Amen. We were sincere. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. On the day of Pentecost, Hallelujah. the word of God say, these all continued, continued in prayer. In prayer. Oh. Oh. No music. No music. That's right. Ain't no time for no music. No, music. no, music. That's no right. time for no singing. No time for that. There's a time and a purpose for everything Everybody. under the sun. Amen. That's right. Amen. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Let the musicians get off the organ, stop playing the drums, stop playing the guitar, and let everybody fall on their knees and cry out to God. That's right. Prayer going on. It ain't no time to be on your cell phone. It ain't no time to be texting. Go it ain't no time to be writing. It ain't no time to be reading. Go it ain't the time for prayer, everybody. Prayer, prayer. Call out to God. That's it. Prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer. Glory to God. The Prayer. word of God said. These all continue. These all. Oh. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Everybody. 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 Continue. Amen. In prayer. And prayer. Amen. And supplication. Prayer. Prayer. Crying out to God. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Crying Wonderful. out to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is in Sweden. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. If Wonderful. you go in the church Hallelujah. where the people yeah, only feel the spirit. Yes, sir. When your preacher is there, Amen. you're in the devil's church. That's right. You that are here. Amen. That's right. If you just feel the presence of God when Amen. I'm here, Amen. you need God. You need God. I'm not your God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. You see, I feel God when I don't see none of you. Okay. Hallelujah. 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 If I don't see none of you, that's right. God is there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is there. I'm not in Canada like I want to be, but God is there. That's right. I'm not in Africa, but God is there. God is there. I'm not in Europe, but God is there. That's it. We're not in Japan, but God is there. Hallelujah. 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 H
Hallelujah. No pastor. Yeah. No bishop. Amen. No imam. Amen. No rabbi. Amen. Is God. That's right. That's right. That's right. It is written, God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. So I don't have to be around for you to reach God. No. no. And believe no. me, you ain't got to be around for me to reach God. That's Amen. right. And Jesus let you know that in his teaching. That's right. Amen. That's why the Holy Ghost is called Comforter. 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 You know, we don't see nobody. Nobody. Oh, yeah. You don't hear from nobody. Right. You don't get. Oh, hallelujah. 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 You don't get no encouragement. Hallelujah. I need comfort. some comfort. That's right. So God says Amen. he's the comforter. comforter. He lets you know I'm there. That's right. When nobody is there. Hallelujah. I'm with you. Hallelujah. Right hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, take hallelujah. Wonderful. Where you don't see nobody. That's right. Don't hear nobody. That's right. And don't feel nobody. Amen. God is there. God is there. Hallelujah. 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 He said the comforter. The comforter yes, shall yes, come. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The comforter. Comforter yes, shall come. He's here. Shall come. Shall come. He's here. Yes, sir. Yes, Wonderful. The comforter is no man. No, no. Wonderful, sir. He's here, sir. He's here. Yes, sir. Comforter is no man. Yes, sir. Even the spirit. The comforter. Wonderful. Do you hear the Bible talking? Hallelujah. And I will pray the Father. Give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 14 wonderful, and at verse 16. Wonderful. John 14, 16. And I will pray the Father. Jesus said, I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Even I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. That's right. I will pray to the Father. And, and he shall right. give you. He shall another give comforter. you. Another comforter. Another comforter. Another comforter. That he may abide with you. That he Hallelujah. may stay with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Right. That's all. That he may wonderful. stay with you. That's it. Very present now. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. No man stays with you. That's right. Man dies. Man gets sick. Amen. Hallelujah. Wonderful, Pop. But the comforter, Amen. he'll come. Abide with you. Stay with you. Forever. And what else? Abide with you forever. Abide with you. Forever. Forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah! 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 To God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, to God. Hallelujah! Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Hallelujah! Amen. This Holy Ghost Hallelujah. has to be in you. Got to be in you, sir. Living water, sir. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. When you in a church, Hallelujah! And a preacher say, "Speak," you yeah. speak. No, no. The preacher count to three, yeah. and you speak. Amen. That trash didn't come from heaven. Oh, oh no. no! You have to go back. That's yeah. right. To the original thing. That's, That's right. right. That's why the Bible says Hallelujah. a sound, sound came from heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Came from heaven. Hallelujah. And a rush of mighty wind. Amen. And all that. And it filled Wonderful. all the house. Wonderful. Where they were sitting. Wonderful. God has to be in your church. That's it. God has to be in your pulpit. That's it. God has to be in the preacher. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Wonderful. Your church. Go ahead. It needs the Holy Ghost. It needs the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, brother. This is what I advise you to do. Go ahead, brother. Terry. Go ahead. Wonderful. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Terry. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes you gotta go to your secret place. Just you and God. And talk to him. Amen. Reach out to him. Wonderful. You got this rotten ghost. Go ahead. Where the preacher tell you speak. And you speak. Hallelujah. 
It ain't the Holy Ghost. No, sir. So to my viewers in Sweden Amen. and the rest of the world, Amen. come out of those churches. Amen. That's it. Because God ain't in them. Amen. Come out of them. Amen. Amen. Get out of them. Get out of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on Hallelujah. 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 Who is it though? Hallelujah. Wonderful. Who is it? Wonderful. 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 Come out, I said. Come out. You need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Like they receive on the day of Pentecost. That's right. At Jerusalem. That's right. And they receive that. Hallelujah. Amen. According to the Amen. promise that Hallelujah. Jesus said. That's right. He said, I send you another comfort. Another comforter. Why? Why am I send you another comforter? Why? Amen. Why is that language there? Amen. Another comforter. Amen. Because he was comforting them. That's right. That's right. When he was here. When he was here. They was being comforted That's right. through the flesh. Amen. Amen. He was with them. Yeah. Teaching them. Yeah. Taking time up. That's right. That's right. He said, but my hour is come. That's right. I got to go away. To go away. That's right. Yeah. Amen. I have to go away. Go ahead. He said, if I don't go away, the comfort won't, won't come. That's right. But if I go, go ahead. Well, oh, when he died Amen. and come back and ascended above all heavens, Amen. here come the comfort. Here he come. Gets the church started. That's right. And it's here now. Oh, yeah. Don't you see it? Amen. Don't you feel it? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 That comfort. Go ahead. We'll come. That's it. Come and the comfort. Right. Which is God. God Amen. Is here. He's, he's right here. Now, right now. Hallelujah. Who do you think Amen. that mother is turning to wonderful, wonderful. after she got that bad news? Yeah. She hanged the phone up, yeah. follow her knees, Hallelujah. start talking to the yeah. company. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Who do you think? Hallelujah. When that young sister yes, and that young brother yes, is struggling with sin yes, and then they get so tired, yes, they don't want to tell nobody about it, yes, they roll on their knees. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they talk. Go ahead. Do the comfort. Preach it, brother. Yes, Do you understand? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. They don't pray to no man. Yeah. They don't pray yes, to no priest. Oh, no. They don't pray yes, to no rabbi. Yeah. They talk to God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Wonderful. Yeah. God yeah, is that comfort. Yeah, that's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. That's yes, sir. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful, sir. Who you think that is? Go ahead, bro. Awesome. When you just emotionally. Mm. And mentally messed up. Go ahead, Amen. brother. Spirit is down. Amen. Amen. All of a sudden, seem like out of nowhere. That's right. Amen. God reach. Amen. Pull you. Amen. Wonderful. At my feet. Wonderful. Hallelujah. On a solid Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Pop. Hallelujah. That's right. God working. Amen. Hallelujah. The prophet said, yay. Yeah. Though I walk Amen. Go ahead, through the valley. Amen. Amen. Of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, no evil. No evil. No because God, 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 He's my rod. Yes, sir. He's my staff. All right. Do you understand? Right there. He's my keeper. Hallelujah. My provider. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. That's the comforter. That's, yeah. all. That's all right, Bob. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Do you understand? Wonderful. Yeah. That's all. All right. Praise him. I want this to be good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hallelujah. For my Muslim brothers. Go ahead, brother. All right. Some of you told me Go ahead, brother. Yes, that Muhammad Go ahead. is the comforter. My Lord. No. Oh no. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Muhammad right. was a man. Yes. Amen. Born of a woman. Amen. He's dead. Amen. But the comforter. Comfort. He shall give you another comfort. He's with you. Yes, that he may Christ. abide with you forever. Forever. Even the spirit. Wait a minute. Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. What did the word call him? Even the spirit. 
even the spirit of truth, of truth, whom the world, whom the world cannot receive. The comforter is the spirit of truth, of truth. It's not Muhammad. No. It's no imam. No, no. It's no rabbi. Amen. It's no preacher. Amen. Hallelujah. To say a man is the comforter. My Lord. Is scriptural blasphemy. That's right. God, God. is the comforter. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Right, listen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. That's why when we need Go ahead. a push. Go ahead. Or to be elevated. Right. Hallelujah. We call on God. That's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Very present help, sir. Muslims, Go ahead, brother. when you pray, Go ahead. you call on God. Yes. You don't pray to Muhammad. No, no. When you need help, you don't ask Muhammad to help you. No, no. When you down, you don't ask Muhammad to lift you up. No, no. You praying to Allah. Allah. Yes. You are praying to God. That's right. That's why you say God is the greatest. That's right. God Go is the greatest. Go ahead, brother. Please. God. Is the greatest. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wonderful. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Yes. Right, Pop. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Hallelujah. All right. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. God is the greatest. No man. No man. It can be called the greatest. No man. No way. No man. No man. Listen. Jesus way. didn't cater to his own flesh. No, he didn't. They called him good master. Good, good shepherd. Good. That's right. He said, Why you call me good? Good. He right. wanted to punch to the spirit. Right. He said, Ain't hey, none good. But right. one. But one. That is God. That one is God. That's it. Jesus comforted his disciples. Yes, he did. When he was with them. That's right. Temporary. Yeah. That's right. But he left. That's right. And another came. Another, Amen. another. What you mean? The same spirit Amen. that was in Jesus. Yeah. That, came that came among the people. That's Amen. right. That's right. That's right. And now he comforted us. That's right. That's why he got me comfort, feeling good right now. Right now. Amen. Amen. Right now. Amen. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, oh, yes. It's Wonderful. our comfort. Yes, God. Yes. So yes, it's a lie Wonderful. to say Muhammad yes. is the comfort. The comfort. Oh, no, 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 that's giving too much honor to a man. That's right. Too much. That's right. God is with us always. That's right. The prophets come and go. Amen. But the Lord our God. The Lord our God. Abideth how long? Forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. Forever. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Next letter. Wonderful. Hallelujah. 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 it be the name of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's deviation. Amen. From scripture. Yes, oh yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody had the right. No man. No man. Deviate. Amen. Hallelujah. From scripture. From the scriptures. Amen. Nobody. No man, no man. Amen. is the comforter. No man. no man. God himself. Hallelujah. The one who the Hebrews call Yahweh. Yeah. Hallelujah. El Aohim. Oh, yes. El Shaddai. Hallelujah. Jehovah. Jehovah. I am that I am. Hallelujah. You Muslims, you address them by the term Allah. Yeah. If Allah is the God of heaven and earth, like you said, mm -hmm. then you have to accept him Amen. and him only That's it. as absolute, yes, sir. as perfect, yes, sir. as infallible, yes, sir. and the comforter of all comforters. Allah. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Amen. All right, Dan Demand, come on. This letter is also from Sweden. It says, my question is, now my question is, can a man not be baptized and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, a person can receive the Holy Ghost before they are actually baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Let me show you this in the 10th chapter of the book of Acts. Acts chapter 10. And Listen. 
Begin at verse 44. Yes. While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter was up declaring the word of God. The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. The Holy Ghost. Somebody asked me what's the difference between the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Nothing. It's no. just a synonym describing the same thing. That's right. Uh, the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, the Spirit. The Spirit is a ghost. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's the inner parts of a person. That's right. So, yeah. yes, when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you're filled with God, you're filled with the Lord, you're filled with Jehovah. That's right. Mm -hmm. While Peter yet spake these words, while Peter, while Peter yet was preaching the word of God, the Holy Ghost God. fell on all of them. Mm -hmm. God. That's it. Fell upon all of them. Which heard the word. Which heard the words of God. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. They which were Jews which believed were astonished. As many as came with Peter. As many as came with Peter. Because that on the Gentiles that also. On other ethnic groups. Was poured out the gift of the Holy the Ghost. The Holy Spirit yeah. fell on all of them. And how did they know they had it? For they heard them speak with tongues. And magnify God. Amen. Amen. And now Amen. they received the Holy Ghost first. First. But Peter wouldn't let him get away. Can't. Peter would not let them get away because Peter was taught by Jesus. That's right. And uh, Jesus' teaching was, Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. except a man is born of the water and of the Spirit, Amen. you cannot enter in. Amen. So these people received the Spirit first. first. But then there was another part that had to be obtained That's right. for them to have a complete new birth that's right they had the spirit that came on them while peter preached right amen. but now what did peter say then answered peter then answered peter can any man forbid water yeah and where did this letter come from it's also with sweden what's that oh sweden sweden yep. mm -hmm. sweden uh the word of god asks a question here can any man forbid water even if you have the holy ghost first my question is to you sweden and to all my swedish viewers amen can you forbid water that these should not be baptized that you should not be baptized which have received the holy which ghost have the holy ghost like we have it, as well as we and what did peter say and he commanded them to no, be he asked them he commanded them no he just suggest, made a little small suggestion he commanded them he said it don't really matter because you got the holy spirit anyway he commanded them he Head, any time a commandment is given, mm -hmm. it must be done. That's right. Must be done, sir. That's he right. commanded them to be baptized. How? In the name of the Lord. So even if you have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue first, you must be baptized in the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. and the Lord's name is Jesus, it's and Jesus. He's the Christ. That's right. So right. even if you're bat even if you have the Holy Ghost first, you must receive the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. I know that when I read in the book of Acts chapter 19 verses 1 to 5, it clearly says in the verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And also I read in Acts when the apostle with Peter preached to the people, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. As such was when preaching, when he was ministering the word to the centurion, and the spirit of the Lord fell upon them. All right. The question is, uh, were those people Christians or just believers, not, ha not yet having been baptized? They were believers. Believers. You can't be a Christian until you learn the ways of Christ and then try to live Christ's lifestyle. Amen. That's right. The word Christian means uh, to be Christ-like. You can't be Christ-like unless you taught Christ's life. That's right. And when you taught Christ's life, you got to be taught Christ's word. That's right. Man. So uh, you are a believer, believer, and once you be a believer, you got to learn how to be a disciple. That's man. right. Eh? That's it, you got to be a believer first. first. And once you become a believer first, you will obey what you hear. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you obey it is because you believe it. Right. And after I obey what I believe, then I begin to learn it. And the more I learn, then I begin to follow what I learn. Right. And then I earn the title disciple. Right. Now, when it comes down to Christian, in the Bible, having the title Christian was not an honorable thing. No. You know, when it was called Christians, it was mockery. Mockery. They was first called Christians at Antioch, Antioch. Only because they were looking at believers, mm -hmm. how they was following. Let's read that. In, in the book of Acts chapter 11 and verse 26. Listen. And the disciples were called Christians first. Notice. Who were called? And the disciples. Right then, they let you know the people notice they were followers. Right. They were followers. And the disciples. Wait a minute. The disciples didn't call themselves Christians. No, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Called. Jesus never called his followers Christians. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Sir. Never did. The title true. Christians was given by unbelievers. That's right. That's right. Unbelievers. That's right. 
was the first ones yeah. who called believers Amen. Christians. Christians. Now, I know many of you didn't see that. No. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere in the Bible where believers first called themselves Christians. No, it's not. The first ones that came up with that title mm. were sinners. That's right. That's right. The ungodly. The ungodly. The unrighteous. That's right. The unholy. Amen. They were looking at the disciples. And the disciples. And the reason why they called them Christians, mm. because that's the only way they can identify them right. with Jesus. That's right. It was a identify, identification label. Yeah. They identified them with Jesus, yeah. Christ, yeah. Christians, Christians, Christ, Christians, yeah. followers of Christ. That's well, they must be Christians. That's right. They're Christ-like people. That's right. They got Christ. They, they, they spread in Christ's teachings. Yes. Amen. Yes. But not even those unbelievers said those people believed in Christianity. No, they didn't. Not even those. No, people. they didn't. Not even those people. The devil came with that years later. <laughs> That's right. Amen. All right, come on, son. Acts 11 and verse 26. What is it? And the disciples were called Christians. They was called that. First in Antioch. Third, what verse is that? That was Acts chapter 11 and verse 26. Go to verse 25. At verse 25. Mm -hmm. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. And taught much people. All right. And the disciples were called Christians. The followers were called Christians. They was called that. Called. Christians. They didn't call themselves that. No. They was called Christians where? First in Antioch. First in Antioch. And in those days. And in those days. Came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. Now. So. Jesus didn't even call his own followers Christians. No. no. The Bible said my people shall be called the holy people. The holy, holy people. people. The holy people. And then I believe one apostle talked about suffering as a Christian, meaning suffering like Christ. That's it. But no, Jesus nor the followers called themselves Christians. No. They was first called Christians at Antioch, mm. and it wasn't to compliment them. No. Not at all. No. All right, come on, next letter. Fayetteville, North Carolina. This person says, how do you feel about the military? Should women be in the military? Should men? Also, I've been watching your telecast recommended by my mother, and I love it. If you could come to Fayetteville, North Carolina, this person says, God bless you. How do I feel about the military? Mm -hmm. Well, I let the Bible speak for me. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, begin reading at verses 3 and 4. It says what? For though we walk in the flesh, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war. We do not war after the flesh. After the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You see, when you got guns and tanks and knives and all that, that's carnal weapons. That's right. Man. That's what that is. So no, we don't endorse military. When you're in the military, you got to swear. Yeah. And Jesus preached against swearing. That's right. Didn't he? That's right. He preached against swearing. That's he right. told you not to do it. Not to do it. Don't swear by anything. But listen, listen at this. In Matthew chapter 5 and at verse 34. What is it? But I say unto you. The boss is talking. I say unto you. I say unto you. Swear not at all. Do you see how this program is just loaded with scripture? <laughs> That's right. It's just loaded, loaded with, with it. Loaded. Amen. Eh? But I say unto you. Jesus said, I say unto you. Swear not at all. No, swear a little bit. Swear not at all. All right. Therefore, you better watch it. Whether it's in school, whether it's on a job, whether it's on a police force, fire department, you should never pledge allegiance to the flag. That's right. No, we do not pledge our allegiance to this abominable country. <laughs> Amen. When you pledge your allegiance to something, that means you give all. That's right. And we only give our all to God and God Himself. That's right. When they ask you to stand, you can stand. But you ain't got to, don't you put your hand over your heart, keep your hands down at your side, right. and don't recite nothing. That's right. Swear not at all. What if God says what? Swear not at all. Amen. Not at all. Now let's deal with swearing another way. You cussing folk. You swearing and cussing. Using the Lord name in vain. In vain. What if God says, swear not what? Swear not at all. That got every category, it can be done. That's right. Not at all. Not, not at, at all. all. That's right. Not at all. You ain't got no business even saying, I swear. No, no. Swear not at all. You sin if you just say it. Right. Yeah. That's right. You sin if That's you right. just say it. Swear not at all. The Lord said, swear not at all. Go to church, hypocrite. <laughs> Amen. 
You come on back to what the word of God says. Swear not at all. Do it a little bit. Not at all. That means you better even have no swearing in your email. Mm. No swearing in your text messages. Right. But now there's a whole lot of you right me. You be just swearing and cussing and calling me those little bad names. Amen. You call the church and leave your message on a voicemail, swearing, That's calling right. me a son of a boop and your mother boop. That's right. This is what the Holy Ghost said to you, you cussing thing. You. But I say unto you, swear not at all. You that's standing in front of television now, throwing your arms around, throwing <laughs> things around, and you cussing. And now you're running to your laptop to send me an email. That's and right. some of you stomping around your room cussing at me now. Amen. I, you know that's what you're doing. Amen. This is what the Lord said to you. But I say unto you, unto you. Unto who? Unto you. 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 Who? You. 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 Who? You. You. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Homosexual. Amen. We ain't got no business swearing. No. White man. White you man. ain't got no business swearing. That's right. Black man, brown man, yellow man. Amen. You ain't got no business swearing. That's right. The president, the military, no. no. So to my one that wrote this letter, no. We don't advise nobody, nobody, to go to the military for no reason. We encourage you to come out, leave Uncle Sam. <laughs> if you look at Uncle Sam, you don't find them setting up recruiting uh, stations in suburbs and uh, so-called well-to-do neighborhoods. No, they they don't. always set up recruiting stations in the most run-down, raggliest neighborhoods where people not hardly making it, and they cater their program to those who's not hardly making it. They, mm -hmm. they, they cater those programs on those who are suffering, right. whether they're black, white, brown, yellow, and red. That's right. right. That's right. That's true. That's right. Then train you and send you how to kill for them. That's, That's right. true. That's right. And then when you kill someone who's trying to break in your house, then they throw you in jail. That's right. That's right. Isn't that something? That's right. If you're going to be charged with murder yeah. mm -hmm. for protecting your own house, yeah. then you ought to charge the government for teaching you how to murder yeah. when you are killing in defense of her. That's right. true. Right. If killing is wrong yeah. for protecting your house, yeah then killing should be wrong for protecting any uh, American institution in the foreign country or in this country. Right. If it's wrong for a man to protect his house with a gun and the police will throw him in jail, yeah. then it shouldn't be wrong for a man to protect the American embassy in another country. Yeah. Murder is murder. Yeah. Amen. But you're a hypocrite. Go ahead. You're a hypocrite. Something now when these young men, young women come back to this sick country, yeah. mentally and emotionally in a wreck, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. now America abandons them. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. They get on television begging the public yeah. for money to help them. Yeah. Amen. That's it, sir. America only want what she can get out of you. She want yours, yeah. Oh, yeah. but not you. That's yeah. right. So when you are in holiness, we don't care if they put a draft out. No. We don't go. No, no. We'll go to jail for we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We pledge our allegiance to the one God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sender of all holy prophets and all holy apostles. We pledge our allegiance to him. Amen. We don't believe that the military should be joined as a career, as a way to pay your way through school. Right. No, we believe that if you don't have the means, God himself will make the means. Amen. 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 We don't believe you have to violate one thing in the scriptures Amen. to get ahead in life. Oh, no. So no, military is of the devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uncle Sam is of the devil. <laughs> and going to war for him will make you of the devil. That's yeah. right. All right, next letter. Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina. Dear Pastor Jennings, I am 72 years old and one whom you describe as a white as rice, quote unquote. 
I thought one day. Uh, that read that again because your, your language is getting too jumbled for me. All right. Dear Pastor Jennings, I'm 72 years old and one whom you describe as quote unquote white as rice. You're white as rice. All right. That's good to know. I thought that one day. That I'm brown as rice. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got brown rice, you got uh, white <laughs> rice, and you even got yellow rice. <laughs> that's right. All right, my brother. Come on. I thought that one day that if there were no non whites, I would not be too white and have to go to the beach for a ten. Okay. But Germany was a nation of whites who attacked France, Poland, and all surrounding nations, all populated with Caucasians. That shows that there would be no peace on earth even if all men were of one race. That is true. If all the earth was white, Amen. you still would be wicked and you all still would go to hell. Amen. That's right. If all the earth was black, yeah. You still will be wicked and you still will go to hell. Amen. If the earth was all one race, yeah. you still would be wicked. You still would be ungodly. Yeah. Let me make it real strong. Yeah. There is no race in heaven. No. No. Amen. 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 And the reason why I say that is this. Look how messed up heaven got. Yeah. And yet there's no race there. No race there right? But the devil still came among the angels. That's right, yeah. And war broke out. That's right. And there was no race. It was a war spirit against spirit. Yeah. All right, come on, son. Only love for one and obedience to the Lord God Almighty yeah. can bring peace. The Spirit says, love thy neighbor as thyself and do unto others as you would them to do unto you. Concerning gay marriage, the Pope said, quote, God is not afraid of new things, unquote. Mm. The Holy Bible says, quote, there is nothing new under the sun. This person says, keep on, keep it on, Pastor Jennings, your brother in Christ, Douglas from Columbia, South Carolina. Brother Douglas, I thank you for that wonderful letter. <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> it's not a spokesman for scripture. No, no it's not at all. The Pope is a representative of the Catholic Church. Pope do not represent God. No. Let me say it again. No. Yeah. The Pope represent the Catholic Church. Right. The views of the Catholic Church. Right. But the Pope do not right. represent God, nor is he a spokesman like Peter was yeah. That's for right. God. Yeah. That's right. He's a spokesman for the Catholic Church like Peter was not. That's right. Right. Peter was the spokesman for God. For God. Yeah. So whatever the Pope said, he's a liar like anybody else. Like anybody else. Amen. The Pope right. said God wants new things. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because right. there's nothing new to God. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That was just a lie the Pope told. That's all. There's nothing new to God. What can happen that God don't know? No. Amen. Who can come that God haven't seen? Right. What can you surprise God with? The, the thing that has been. Listen at the scriptures. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 9. Says what? The thing that has been. The thing that have been. It is that which shall be. It is that which shall be. And that which is done. And that which is done. Is that which shall be done. Is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing there under the sun. There is no new thing. Thing under the sun. Is there anything? Is there anything? Whereof it may be said, see, this is new. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. That goes to show you the Pope, not the spokesman for God. That's right. Because if he speak for God, mm -hmm. he'll speak with the scriptures. That's right. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. He'll speak with the scriptures and that lie will never came out of his mouth. Amen. All right, thank you for that letter. Next letter. This letter says, uh, greetings, I have some questions or a question, if Pastor Jennings would answer. What is the difference between a pastor, teacher, and evangelist? A pastor is a shepherd and a pastor also is a teacher because if a pastor cannot be a teacher, he can't lead the people. That's right. That doesn't mean that that pastor necessarily is an evangelist. Yeah. An evangelist is one that goes from here to there, here to there, here to there. He go around right. and spread the message of truth. 
but the evangelist must be appointed by an apostle. By apostle. Right. Timothy was an evangelist. That's right. And the apostle Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, who sat under the feet of Gadamilia, mm -hmm. who was taught according to the perfect manner of the law, mm -hmm. the apostle Paul, who was God made, God taught, God anointed, God instructed, mm -hmm. God appointed, and God authorized, mm -hmm. he told Timothy, Do the work. What? Do the work of an evangelist. Now, Many of you evangelists said God told you. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, no, no. no. If God talked to you, he going to talk to you the way he talked to Timothy. That's right. He going to talk to you through a man. That's right. And that man going to tell you what office that you should function in. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Second Timothy chapter 4 and at verse 5. But, as, but watch thou in all things. Look at him instructing Timothy. You watch it. Be observant. Endure afflictions. I want you to endure what happened to you. Do the work. Do the work of an evangelist. Of an evangelist. Make full proof. I want you to prove of thy ministry. Amen. Amen. Scripture tell me Amen. how Paul laid hands on him. That's right. Amen. Didn't it? That's right. Amen. To stir up. Stir up the gift. The gift that Therefore, is it. So uh, let, let's let's read this. Amen. Are you ready, son? Oh yes. Come on, son. Second epistle, chapter. Uh, second epistle of Timothy. Chapter second Timothy. Second Timothy. Second Roger. Timothy. Second Timothy. I'm gonna add something that ain't there. I get you too. <laughs> <laughs> That second epistle, just second Timothy. Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Chapter one. Chapter one. And at verse six. All right. Wherefore? Wherefore? I put thee in remembrance. Look at him teaching his son in the gospel. Amen. They want to make sure even when he go out, he go out right. That's right. Eh? I put thee in I remembrance. Want you, he's reminding him of something. That thou stir up the gift of God. That you stir up the gift of God. Which is in which thee. Which is in you. By the putting on of my hands. Amen. Amen. I want to say to every man out there Hallelujah. that claim you an evangelist Hallelujah. and you claim God sent you and sent you out there, use a lie. That's a lie. You got to have someone lay hands on you. That's right. And that someone have to be a God sent, God anointed, God made an apostle. That's right. Because after the apostle lay hands on you, That's right. then they got to tell you what work to do. Do the work of an evangelist. Wonderful. Wonderful. Eh? That's right. So yes, an evangelist is the one that go here, there, here, and there, here, there. And when he go there, he go where the apostle sent him. Yeah. And he do what the apostle tell him. And That's then right. he got to come back and report to the apostle. That's and right. let the apostle know what he done. Amen. Amen. That's true. Eh? That's true. Oh, right, take God. So yes, a pastor is a shepherd. A pastor is a teacher. Mm -hmm. But not necessarily the pastor is, that, is an evangelist. That's right. An evangelist is also a teacher. Mm -hmm. Because there's no need for him to go around and he can't teach. That's right. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That teaching got to be in them. Got to be in them. Now, let me magnify my office. Glory <laughs> to God. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Glory to God. And then I, I say like Paul, Go you ahead. are glorified God in me. <laughs> That's right. right. Now, the apostle Hallelujah. cover every capacity of ministry. That's right. I'm an apostle. Go ahead, brother. I'm God said I didn't stutter. No. Right. Glory to God. I didn't fumble <laughs> no, about no, it. No, you didn't. I was right. I'm an Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm an apostle. That's right. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. I'm God made. God made. God anointed. Go ahead. God taught. Go ahead. And God appointed. Go ahead. I have seen the Father. Go ahead. I've heard his voice. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Glory to God. And made me a minister of the New Testament. New Testament. And a witness. Go ahead. Glory Talk to God. Now, I know that some of you say, no, there are no apostles now. Right. To be an apostle, you have to be here when Jesus he was here. Right. He was a liar. That's Paul a lie. wasn't. Right. Paul wasn't here. Right. So Jesus said, God said, he revealed his son in him. In him. Right. And just like God revealed his son in Paul. Amen. I bear witness Amen. that the same God Wonderful. revealed his son in me. Oh, yeah. That's why I can preach him right. among, the among the heathen. And immediately Wonderful. I can prefer not, not with, flesh and blood. with flesh and blood. That's right. Wonderful. Now, the apostleship Go ahead, brother. is one that's God called, God known it, God taught, God instructed. He's an ambassador yeah. sent by authority, Amen. from authority. Amen. Amen. Given authority to represent authority. That's right. And he cover every area of ministry. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's an apostle yeah. because God gave him the ability to teach the world. That's right. And God gave him divine power. That's right. To go into the scriptural text go ahead. and analyze the language of God. Go ahead. He's a bishop. Go ahead. Because he got the oversight. The oversight. Right. He's a minister. Yeah. Because he's sent to serve. Yeah. He's a teacher. Oh, yeah. Because he's sent to teach the world. That's yeah. right. He's also a prophet, a prophet. Because God made him a messenger. That's right. And God blessed him to see and foretell Go ahead. before the thing even happened. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 
Go ahead, man. Go ahead. There's not an area. He's a pastor. Go ahead. Because we're shepherding thousands. I'm an evangelist. Go ahead. That's why I'm in that country and in that country and in that country. That's right. And everywhere Go ahead. that evangelist Jennings go, right. we got results. Got results. Whether it's in Africa, yeah. whether it's in Europe, yeah. whether it's in India, yeah. whether it's anywhere in the world. Go ahead. Talk about it. Go ahead. Talk about it. Hallelujah. Give us results. Oh, yes. Now I know my enemies will say, "Look at him. Look, look at him. He's look talking him. about himself." Look at him. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. I am talking about myself. That's right. I magnify my office. That's right. But I'm talking about what God done for me. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk about it. Talk about it, brother. That's the redeemer of Go ahead. You may not like me saying it, yeah. but all these folks that are here, yeah. they are here because they heard God yeah. in me. Yeah. They heard God yeah. in me. And we lift God up for them. That's right. Lift them up. Oh, they're not going to like that, Pastor. They're not going to like that. They're not going right, like that. I know you don't like it. They're not going like that, Pastor. But the apostle said, I delivered unto you. First of all. First of all, yeah. that which I Go ahead. also received. Oh, yes. It comes from God yes. to the apostle yeah. and then to the world. Then to the world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's the way God has. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Wonderful. Go ahead. So to you, to you fellas who's jealous and upset, and you say that people wish up pastors, and nobody wish up me. But if they got sense, they thank God for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. If you had sense, Go ahead. you will thank God for me. Yeah. That's right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. You may not like us, don't like it. but who else do you hear standing for God? That's right. Who else do you hear standing boldly That's right. against any threat in the world? Amen. These men sold out, oh, yeah. gave up, oh, yeah. and backslid. Amen. 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 Go ahead, man. You offer me anything you want. Go ahead, I'm not bowing no, to no. nobody no, no. and to nothing. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, 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 brother. A real man want to lead a life that. Right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Real man don't want no leader he can boss no. and run over no, no. and push around. Go ahead. That's not leadership. No, no. And that's why you fellas get upset with me because you can push your preacher around. That's right. Some of you women, you can tell your preacher off. That's right. Cuss him out, he don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. We uphold God here. Oh, right. yeah. Nobody come here to change me. That's right. If you think you could come here to change me, yes. you have failed before you got here. That's right. I already been changed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. You can offer me all the money in the world. Oh, yes. I shall not turn Amen. on the God of my salvation. Wonderful. Wonderful. Balaam was offered riches by Balak. Not only was he offered wealth, he was offered a position. Balaam told Balak, you can fill this house with silver and gold. Right, Can I go beyond the word of the Lord to do more or less? Oh, yes. that's right. It is that type of spiritual mindset yes, sir. that's yes, hard to find. Yes, sir. And that's why I know God don't make preachers out of everything. Yes, you give these preachers a check, they'll sell out just like that. Yes, they will. Money dictate what your pastor said. That's right. The board of directors dictate what the pastor said. That's right. And in many cases, his wife. That first lady. Watch it. She tells him what to preach. That's right. If he preaches something that offends her, preach, the preacher's wife, yes. give him the eye. Yes. Yes. That's right. Let him, let him know. That's right. Preach it. Preach it, brother. He come right out the spirit. 
Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Change. Go ahead, folks. Go ahead. Sir. My wife knows she can't tell me what to preach. Oh, no. She knows her place. That's right. She knows this is not her territory. Yeah. That's right. That's right. When I'm up here, she can't look at me. That's my husband. No. When I'm up here, that's my leader. That's, that's right. My teacher. It's wonderful. Are you listening? Amen. Wonderful. Amen. When church is over, she can't embrace me like she would at home. No, no. She got to embrace me. I'm embracing my leader. Yeah, that's something. Then save the mushy stuff for home. <laughs> that's that's right. right. That's it. Amen. You understand? That's right, Paul. That's it. Yeah, that's it. God's order. Hallelujah. That's God's order. That's wonderful, man. That's wonderful. Everybody all right? Amen. Come on, brother. Let's get some more. All right. This letter comes from Nottingham in England. It says, Nottingham, England. All right. Greetings to the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Barrington. I've been watching your program on YouTube, and it is truly amazing. It's the best thing since TV was invented. Yes, it is. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Wonderful. Go ahead, sir. Because I am based in the UK, I would prefer to be baptized in the true way and not be led astray. Yes. I would be truly grateful if you could help me with this situation in being baptized. And Barrington says, thank you, and God bless you. Yes, we will be able to help you. We are, uh, my brother, Brother Mark Moretti, who coordinates baptisms internationally. When people write us from different parts of the country, he coordinates, calling ministers and calling the different temples, coordinating, because there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who are coming out of the churches wanting to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and want a church in their area. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this thing is moved Moving. by the hand of God Wonderful. and no one can stop it. Right. No email. Amen. No email, no text message, not a member in First Church can stop it. That's right. No, sir. Because I'm not dumb enough to think that everybody that come to First Church is part of First Church. That's, right. That's true. No. That's true. You got some wicked, rotten, no good brothers that keep coming to First Church. That's right. Lord. Some of them go to the branch churches. Amen. And some of them try to discourage people when conventions come around. Lord. Some of them say, well, uh, I ain't running up and down the road. <laughs> To see no preacher. My Lord. Don't value it, sir. Don't value it. My Lord. Don't value it, sir. They ain't running up down the road. Don't value it, sir. My Lord. You know when you hungry, you will go anywhere. That's right. Where food is that? Where food is. That's right. That's right. That's why so many are weak. Yeah. Amen. And ignorant of the ways of God. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, don't ever let no man, no woman, no husband, no father, no uncle, no friend yeah. stop you oh, yeah. from coming to get the word of God. That's yeah. right. Amen. Amen. Anybody come to you and go and criticize you from going up the road to hear the message, ask them direct, then why you keep coming here? That's right. Don't bite your tongue. That's ask right. Them. Ask them. Why you keep coming here? Amen. Ask them. Amen. If there's any brother in any of the branch temples that ever make that statement and the minister know about it, don't let that brother function in no temple. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Because he's not a brother. Not a brother. He is not a brother. No, he's not. He's not a brother. No, he's not. You can't be a brother with the Holy Spirit and speak so ill about God's way. Amen. Amen. Oh, we ain't playing with nobody. No. Amen. If there's any brother here today that feel that way, don't come back. Don't come back. That's right. The truth to be preached if you never come back. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. If you think you too good to be under this, Amen. This winner, you better than the word. Better than the word. You need God. God don't need you. That's right. God don't need you. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Wonderful, sir. wonderful. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's go ahead. Wonderful. When you go out, God will fill your place. God will fill your place. He's doing it. That's right. He has done it. 
Easy. When one go out, 100 come in. Easy. That's right. Easy. Two go out, 500 come in. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. Hallelujah. Any time Moses died yes, and God replaced him with Joshua, yeah. you're not Moses. That's right. <laughs> so why you think you can't be replaced? That's right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Wonderful, Pops. Wonderful. Wonderful. Go ahead. If you're not with us, Go ahead. you're against then you us. Against us. Yes, you're against us. Right. Amen. 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 And any minister that got any brothers in their local temple and their brothers are going among brothers so in discord and going to criticize them because they coming to hear the word, yeah. take that brother and put him out. Man, yeah. put him out, man. Put him out. Wonderful. 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 Take that brother and put him out. Out. Man. Put him out. Now let me get Bible for it. Amen. In the book of First Corinthians, chapter get five. Get some Bible for it. First Corinthians, chapter five. Wait till it died down. I want the people to hear chapter yeah. verse. Listen, good. First I Corinthians. I want to get Bible for putting you out. Right. Listen. First Corinthians, chapter five. Right. First Corinthians, chapter five. And at verse thirteen. Therefore, put away. Put from, away from among yourselves. From among yourselves. That wicked person. That wicked person that's right Amen. one scripture says put such a one out of your midst out of your midst, of your midst. Right. put such a one out, out of your midst right. so if there's any brother yeah. in any of the temples Wonderful. that have ever came to you yep. go to the local minister Amen. to your temple Amen. And if you don't, I'm going to come to you. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. And if the local minister don't do nothing, yep. he's fired. Amen. 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 Any brother in any of the local temples who's trying to discourage people from coming to hear the word of God, any brother that go to another brother, that brother is to go to that local minister about that brother. Yeah. And if that local minister don't do what his leader said, yeah. put that brother out, out, then the minister and the brother will be put out. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. That's good. That's good. Man. We don't need no rotten brothers uh, like that. No, no, no. We don't need, don't need no that. weak brothers like that. No. Give me men that love God. That's right. That are fight for. That's right. That are die for. That's right. That are stand up for. Amen. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. Sound man, wonderful sir. Sound sir. Let Sound. this be a warning. Amen. A warning to every branch. To warning. Amen. You ministers want to keep your posts. Amen. You better walk a chalk line. Yes, sir. Amen. Any brother in any temple, Amen. go to any of you brothers and try to discourage you or try to discourage any sister. Wonderful sir. Wonderful. Then that sister. Tell the local minister yes. about that brother. Yep. And that local minister yes. is to take that brother yes. and tell him, leave. 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 If you can't do it, Simple. you're fired yep. instantly. Yes. Amen. Amen. And it ain't no brother worth losing your job over. No. No, no way. Right, Pop. Amen. Wonderful. So if there's any brother that have went to brothers, if there's any sisters that brothers have went to, to discourage them from coming to hear this message, this message. when you get back to your branch temple, mm. go to that minister. Mm. Don't call me and ask me, should I? I'm Amen. giving you orders right now. Amen. Right. Go to that minister. Amen. Charity begin where? At home. Charity begin where? At home. At home. And we're going to clean all the temples up yeah. and sweep them out. Sweep them out. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Put the Wonderful. evil away. Wonderful. Amen. If the ministers are too much of a coward right. to stand, Amen. you shouldn't be up there. That's, right. That's why we tell the ministers, don't you get so close to nobody. That's right. 
That's right. Amen. You shouldn't be so close to no brother yeah. that when he's wrong, you can't speak up. Yeah. You better speak up and speak out or out you go. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Excellent. Beautiful. Amen. Very clear. Wonderful. So after the day, yeah. after the day, Good morning. Uh -huh. All branch temples. Oh, yes. If there's any man among any branch temple yep. that been telling sisters or brothers, right. don't come, you're running up the road. No, 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 no. Go to the local minister. Yep. Tell, don't beat around the bush. I don't want to give him the name because then you're going to get in trouble. That's right. That's right. Because right. if you're innocent, you ain't trying to hide nobody. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's give right. that brother up to that local minister. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. That sister, I'm talking to sisters and brothers. Yes, right. sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. And then. Bring that brother to the local minister yeah. and tell the local minister to his face while the brother is standing there yeah. what this brother is saying. Yeah. When the local men asks him, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It ain't no conversation. Please. Right. Wonderful. It's all over, sir. Him out. It's all over, sir. Ministers can't comply. Nope. Fire. That's right. Right. Very clear, sir. Wonderful, sir. You can't think enough of God and love Amen. God enough to separate the wheat from the, from the tares, tares and right. the goat from the sheep. Yeah. You should not be up here. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, sir. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Amen. We ain't just correcting them out there. No, we gonna correct everything right in first church. That's right. 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 All right. Sir. Wonderful. 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 Large order. Sir. Large order. We know we have devils among us. Yes, sir. Amen. Sir. We know it. Yes. Yes, that's why we resort to methods to weed them out. Weed them out. Weed them out. That's right. Weed them out. We resort to methods. That's right. Weed them out. Weed them out. They are not lovers of the faith. Mark them. Listen at the word of God. In the book of Romans, chapter 16 and verse 17. Let me show you this in the book of scriptures. Give chapter and verse again. Romans, chapter 16 and verse 17. What is it? Now I beseech you, brethren. Is it all right, Brother Johnson? Glory to God. Come on, son. Now I beseech you, brethren. I beseech you, brother. Give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 16 and at the 17th verse. What is it? Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. Mark them. Mark them. Them, yes, sir. Mark, mark them with them. Notice them. Mark them. Mark notice them. them. Observe them. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't let them keep coming to church, jumping and shaking in a chair and running all over the place. That's mark, right. Mark, mark and them. And then out of one side of the mouth, say amen. Out of another side of the mouth, speak against the word. Amen. amen. Mark, 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 all mark, that shaking. Man. All double that shaking. Double time. Amen. All that running back and forth. That's right. Man. That's true. Amen. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. The Apostle Paul said, I set off things in order when I come. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. No brother can afford to be a hypocrite because you may be up here one day. That's true. And if you don't master hypocrisy out there, you're going to do hypocrisy up here. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Don't you know I'm looking at all of you? Wonderful. To see who have ministerial criteria. Yes, Wonderful. To Wonderful. see who got potential to help me spread this message. Go ahead. Go ahead, I'm man. I'm watching you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're not just leading you. I'm watching to Watch see you. Watch who you. can help me labor. Right. Go ahead. In this task. Go ahead. I'm watching you. Watch you. I'm seeing how humble you are. That's right. How can you take reproof? That's, That's right. right. How you respond to correction. Yeah. Yeah. If you Watch are backbiter. If you are liar. Right. If you are lover of money. Yeah. If you're hostile. That's right. Right. Ahead, Do you respect leadership? Go ahead. Do you respect leadership in my face, but yet a snake behind my back? That's amen. right. Wonderful, Preach it, wonderful. Amen. Do you say amen when the minister is speaking, yep. but when the men and the leader speak? Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Go ahead. Watch all that. Go ahead, man. I'm watching. Oh, yeah. I'm watching. Watching all that, sir. You know we need more ministers. Yes, oh sir. yeah. Yes, All need. these hundreds of people that's coming from around the world. Oh yeah. But I refuse to put trash up here. Yes, Go ahead. Wonderful. Time. 
Hallelujah. The souls is too important. Amen. The souls are too precious. That's right. And if you can love the souls enough, not only to preach to them, but to protect them. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Wonderful. You gotta preach to them and protect them. Go ahead. Wow, wolves come among us. You gotta protect the sheep. That's right. Because there's a wolf there. That's Go ahead. Drive it out. How can you speak out against the wolf? That's it. If you are fox yourself. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. A fox and a wolf are both canines. Oh yeah. Part of the dog family. That's right. He's a wolf. That's like a dog. You the fox. That's like a dog. That's why y'all get along. That's right. Go ahead. So as of today, Amen. Any brother that go to any brother or sister mm -hmm. in any branch temple yep. as of today Amen. you go to the local minister mm -hmm. and that location that minister is to get that brother along with you yep. in that meeting even if the brother said it to several yes. right. get him in that meeting and question the brother Amen. question him thoroughly Amen. if he don't deny the fact he said it let him know that's all we want to know yeah. That's it. Make this your last day here. Amen. That's right. That's right. Go. Go. Don't say peace be because he's now he don't have peace. That's no peace. That's it. The Bible says, what do you know about peace? That's, That's right. right. Either you love it That's right. or you hate it. Or you hate it. Listen, man, it's too much fun to have out in the world to be a hypocrite here. That's right. Amen. That's for sure. You know how hard it is to live right? That's <laughs> right. You know how hard it is to stay right? That's right. right. The only thing that got you making in a tip because you long to be saved. That's it. Amen. Yes, sir. That's it. Only reason, sir. All right, listen. That's it, Pop. That's it, man. That's it. Or I take God, I believe in setting anything and everything Every, in order. Everything. That's why they don't like me, and I don't Amen. care if they don't like me. That's right. I'm not Amen. worthy to be liked. Yeah. I'm worthy to be loved. Amen. That's right. Amen. I love you. I don't like you. That's I love you. That's right. Give me a life, sir. Give me life. Wonderful. Amen. What did the word of God say? We want peace in all the churches. Peace. peace. The Bible says this. God is not the author of confusion, That's but right. peace, peace, as in all the churches. Amen. Amen. So you got the result. You got to weed out weed the out. unpeaceful. Yes. That's right. Amen. Amen. One who always want to cause trouble. Yeah. Yeah. That's so confusing. Troublesome. Cause you know, when you get older and get older, you're supposed to mature. Yes. Amen. Amen. And right. there's just certain things about you you just should grow out of. That's right. right. And when you find yourself never growing out of it, well, my God, man, and what's wrong with you? That's it. All right, come on, let's get some more. My time is getting away. It's been gone. What is it? Come on, brother. All right, this letter says, uh, thank you. All right. Brother Pastor Jennings. Yes, sir. The old man smile, it says in brackets, I am 60 years old and have been in church all my life. 60? 60. Wonderful. However, no preacher has ever been able to touch my soul or hold my attention. I'm eternally That's grateful and thankful. That's for a 60-year-old man. Oh, yeah. 60, sir. 60. All right. I'm eternally thankful and grateful for your broadcasts and videos. I need to hear your teaching when I was a child. I told my wife today that I cannot listen to any other preacher the way I used to. I became attracted to your teaching the first time I saw you on TV. And you confirmed my thoughts on various subjects. How can I help to support your teachings? Repent of your sins. Amen. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Learn Amen. the way of God. Come aboard the truth of God train. Amen. And be a part of this work that's wrecking America Amen. and Amen. the world. Amen. This is the holy wrecking crew. Yes. Oh, yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. Wreck, it was a good demolition crew. Yes. And that's where the apostles were. They wrecked everything. Yes. When the apostle Paul went down in Asia, man, the Demetrius and the silversmiths, they got so upset, they said, uh, our, uh, not only the great goddess Diana, but our, our craft Fresh. is to be said ignored. Amen. And they're going to despise the temple. That's right. Paul was tearing up everything. everything. That's what I'm determined to do. I'm, the, I'm not out for folk to like me and to make Amen. friends. I'm not out for ratings. No. What do right. I care about ratings? Right. I'm out for God. Yeah. You don't care nothing about no ratings. Amen. I'm not out to boost the ratings of no television station. That's right. I'm out to save souls. That's Amen. right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. That's Wonderful. it. Wonderful. All right, next letter. Final letter. 
It says, invitation to Phoenix, Arizona. Pastor Jennings, my name is Gregory. I've been asking you for quite some time to come to Phoenix, Arizona. Please come and let me know. When, please let me be of service to you in any way that I can to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ here in Phoenix. Please help us. It says, in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you for that wonderful letter. All right, we have many more, but we're going to knock off. God, give us all something good. Arizona. God willing, Arizona, we'll get some time. God be our helper. We'll try to reach out to you. We got requests for people to ask us to come everywhere, all over, all over. I'm only one man, but God has given us a message for everybody under the sun. That's right. And why is so many thousands gravitating to this message? Even they admit it is not like nothing else. They haven't heard nothing like it. That's right. It's sheer 100% scripture, not mixed with no other belief under the sun. That's right. We believe what's written. We stand on what's written. And if need be, we are die for what's written. Amen. Repent of your sins, viewer, viewer. Come on out of your church. Leave your church. Don't tell me who your pastor is. I don't care nothing about the name of your denomination, your religion. If it's not in the Bible, you're in the wrong thing anyway. That's right. Repent, you that are watching and you that are here. That's right. Repentance, when you're sorry about your wrong, you're convicted about it. Mm -hmm. Repent of your sins. Amen. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. You that want to be baptized, write me by the thousands. Write me wherever you are in the world. But you that are here, I'm talking now to you. Repent of your sins. Be baptized today in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not getting younger, you're getting older, and it's time to make a change. Amen. Every nationality, every one of all religious beliefs have this to do. Amen. The Bible says that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And when the apostles was at Jerusalem, the apostle Peter declared to repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Then he gave the reason why. Mm -hmm. He said, for the remission of sins. The word remission means removal. Amen. That's the way you get your sins washed away. He was born in the world in sin, singular. And that's the sin you inherited for the first, from the first father, Adam. Then you begin to learn right and wrong, and you chose wrong, of course, over right. So now you earned for yourself the wicked title, sinner. Amen. And it didn't take much work to get it. <laughs> but you did get it. Amen. Now you got to repent of all of those sins. Everything. Amen. you got to mean it from your heart. And truly be convicted from the heart. And when that happened, I won't have to fight with you to be baptized. Amen. You are surrender. Amen. Glory to God, you are surrender and you want to get it right. If there's anybody here want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and obey God and get on God's side, stand on your feet. Anybody else want to be baptized? Anyone else? All of you that want to be baptized, you see my brothers back there, you that stood up, looking back of you, go back where the brother is back there, and we're going to make arrangements to baptize you. Thank God for that. Who can give me the correct time, brothers? 3.30? Our evening session is scheduled to start at 5. And let us come back. We'll be back here. We'll be back here in this auditorium at 5 o'clock. I'll be so glad when I can stop renting places. Amen. And, uh, and we, we conclude everything for our new international headquarters, church, and campus. That's what we're working on. God be our helper. We continue to pray, pray for the success of that because this room can't even hold everybody. It just can't do it. But uh, let us be back here at 5 o'clock to get some more good grub. Thank you for listening. Television viewers, remember, it's time for you to come out of what you're in and be a part of something that's real. May God forever keep you and preserve you is our prayer. Let us all stand. We'll be closed out with prayer by Brother Minister Daryl Jones of Columbia, South Carolina. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord God, for the word that has been preached all weekend. Lord God, we thank you for this youth conference. Lord God, the success. Lord God, we want to thank you for our pastor and our general overseer. Lord God, we ask you to continue to keep him. Bless him, Lord God. Continue to give him the divine word. 
God to open up his understanding to the word that he continued to teach us. Father God, we want to thank you for all those that went down in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father God, we just thank you so kindly for all things. Lord God, your word is so great. It is so wonderful and so powerful. Yes, sir. Lord God, we thank you for Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. Lord God, we hope and pray, Lord God, that many that receive the word, God, will look and consider and change their ways and change their lives. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, and ask you to continue to bless the young people as they continue to grow in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for just leadership that continue to guide us in the right direction. Father God, we just want to ask you to bless our leader. Lord God, continue to give him wisdom and knowledge yes, and understanding. Sir, give him health, Lord yes, Jesus, yes, sir, as he continue to travel. Lord God, and we want to continue to bless you and give your name the glory and the honor. We ask all these blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.